Hello and welcome to my channel. Say hi to a happy day. In this channel, I would like to share tales and stories I personally picked and or my kids' favorite book stories. Let's enjoy listening while I read to you a book. Why do we sleep? We all spend a lot of time snoozing. In fact, children sleep for almost half of their lives. Why? It's because our bodies need it. Sleep is just as important as food and exercise. When you're tired, your eyes feel heavy and you start to yawn. Have you ever wondered why we sleep at nighttime instead of in the daytime? You can't see it, but your body has a clock that matches the sun, and it can tell when it's night and when it's day. As night comes and it gets darker, your brain tells you it's time for sleep. But we're not all exactly the same when it comes to bedtime. Larks wake early to sing their songs. Some of us like to go to sleep early and wake up early in the morning. These people are sometimes called larks because larks wake up and start singing by sunrise. Owls come out at night. Others like to go to bed late and then sleep later in the morning. They are often called night owls because owls are nocturnal, meaning they are active at night. So what exactly is sleep? It's a natural state of rest where your awareness of what's happening around you gets turned right down. There are several different stages of sleep which repeat through the night. One, it takes around seven minutes for most of us to go from wakefulness to light sleep. Two, we relax further, our body temperature drops, our breathing becomes regular, and we enter deep sleep. This is when our body recovers from the day. Three, third, we dream during rapid eye movement sleep. Sleep affects every part of our body in the most incredible ways. Your brain gets cleaned while you sleep. Lots of other funny things can happen while you sleep. Have you ever had a strange feeling that you're falling out of bed? These sometimes happens as you're falling asleep and jerk awake. It's called a hypnic jerk. Scientists think this happens because as our muscles relax, our brain gets confused and thinks we're falling, so it tries to catch itself. Nearly all children snore some of the time, especially when they have a cold, and one in 10 children snores every night. It happens when something blocks the air going to your throat. It might be your tongue or your airways, which relax as you sleep, that vibrate like a musical instrument. Children tend to talk in their sleep much more than adults do. Sometimes sleep talkers make perfect sense. You can even have a conversation with them. But if a sleep talker is in very deep, deep sleep, they usually talk gibberish. About 15% of children sleepwalk, and it happens more if you're not getting enough sleep. Sometimes children just sit up in bed. Sometimes they walk around the house. I hope you enjoy listening to the book. Why do we sleep? Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to listen to more of our favorite book stories. See you soon!